This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. So, Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is one desperate young man. And I got to tell you something. It, this is... And and, and it, I think it's actually happening exactly like I told you, okay? I told you that the Dolphins were never going to trade for him, all right? Never happened. I told you the Dolphins weren't going to give him big money, right? Didn't happen. And then I also told you that he's going to be shell-shocked at the fact that there isn't going to be a bunch of teams out there waiting to give him a whole bunch of money because nobody's giving him any money. Nobody's even making the kind of offer at all that he likes. He knows exactly where Miami stands. They they have Miami's offer. They know exactly where Miami stands. And it's what I told you from the get-go. Okay? And now, the last week, he and his agent have been working this AFC East angle. And why do you think they've been working this AFC East angle and doing these interviews? And, oh, yeah, the Dolphins would be great. Oh, but the Jets and then now the Patriots. And here's Jeremy Fowler and Diana Rossini. And, you know, they're throwing out these, these other teams. And it all seems to be coming from the AFC East. Why is that? Is Dalvin Cook, does he really care about the Patriots? No. Does he really care about the Jets? No. Does he care about the Dolphins? Oh, yeah. Oh, he wants to play for his hometown team badly. But he just realized that he lost $10.5 million from the Vikings, and he's now realizing that he's not going to make it back. So now he's holding out hope, and I don't know if he's holding out hope for some kind of an injury where somebody is desperate because if all things are sort of equal, he ends up in Miami. And and as I've told you, which is, I told you they wouldn't trade for him. I told you they wouldn't give him big money. And all these people, oh, when he becomes available, the Dolphins are going to pounce. No, they're not. And sure enough. And then I told you, what else did I tell you? I told you that he may, he's probably going to end up realizing that the deals that are out there, sure, I can go to the Jets for a million and a half more, but when it comes to taxes and moving and everything else, why would I do that? Let me just go to Miami and I'll save myself with taxes and everything else. I already got a crib down here. I'm fine. Boom. Save myself Save myself some money and I'll play for my hometown team for a one-year contract. If I was listening to the Denver Broncos or the Houston Texans or the Seattle Seahawks or the Los Angeles Rams or the Detroit Lions or the New Orleans Saints or, you know, if, if we were hearing about other teams involved and that they're interested in him and that they're bringing him in, that they really want him and all that. Have you heard it? No. What's the coincidence? Why is it only the AFC East? Huh? Why? Because he's trying to he's trying to use the Bills and the Jets to get to the Dolphins. And Chris Greer's sitting there going, bro, we told you what we can offer you. Okay? We want you, but we can't overpay for you. We can't. We have three backs that we love. We're not getting rid of the three backs. You can come and join our team and make our team better, but we're not here to make you the number one back. That's not how the coach plays the game. The coach is going to use everybody, and if you got a hot hand that day, well, then it might be you, it might be Jeff Wilson, it might be Raheem Mostert, and it might be A-Chain, but he's going to use the, the hot hand at times too. So if there are moments where you're hot, Dalvin, then he'll keep milking you. But if another week it's Mostert, he's going to stay with, he's going to stay with Raheem. So it's a committee here. We don't do the bell cow thing. He knows that now. He knows everything. And as I keep seeing how this game is being played on the Dalvin agent side, I keep thinking this bodes well for Miami. Okay? 
And by the way, for all of you out there that wanted to trade for Dalvin or sign him right away, notice what kind of a terrible GM you guys are because you didn't need to trade for him. And lots of you were willing to give up a, a pick for him or two or whatever they were going to pick. Either you give up a higher pick or several lower picks or whatever it is. But, or, oh no, you're going to sign him right away. Neither one happened. Nobody signed them right away. Nobody traded for them. So it also goes to show a lot of you out there, you have no feel for what the running back position is really, what it really means in the NFL and how it's really treated. And now you guys are getting that brutal lesson along with Dalvin Cook. But I got to say, the Miami Dolphins and Chris Greer have handled this perfectly. And as time goes on, unless there's an injury somewhere in the NFL that puts a team in serious jeopardy, Miami has handled this perfectly and could end up with Dalvin Cook on a very affordable contract.